Let's talk about the filter transformation today in Azure Data Factory's mapping data flows. Think of the filter transformation as a sort of where clause uh, within a SQL select statement where you're filtering out rows. So if you look at the, the sample that I have on my screen, I have two different streams of data. One is a data set pointing to an Azure SQL database staging table, and the other is pointing to a table of new products coming in. Both are Azure SQL, SQL database sources. Now I have a derived column, and then I have a select. So the select transform is essentially the part of the select statement in SQL where you're creating a projection, and you pick which columns that you want to uh, keep. And then I'm joining. So this is essentially an inner join uh, from this main stream of data to the stage table up here. I'm performing an inner join and I am joining on the product ID from both sides of the relationship. And now I attach to my join a filter. So you'll find filter here. It is under row modifier because once the filter is done, only the rows that match a Boolean expression will continue to be passed through. All the others will filter out. Anything that resolves to false in that expression will be filtered out. So the filter then becomes a where clause. So I can say something like, this is essentially saying, you know, select star um, from new prods, inner join with stage, and then where I'm saying color from the select one relationship is my color. So my color is a parameter, but I can simplify this for you here. And we'll just put in a hard coded value for now. We'll just say red, anything that's red. So it's a very simple expression. That's such as saying where color equals red or select that color equals red. Now, if you like to alias your statements within SQL, you can do something similar here. So this is just taking the name of the transformation from the select up here. I can essentially alias uh, those and you can call the stream something other than select one and that name would then go along with the name of the columns over here on the filter. But this is fine for now. So what's going to happen when we preview this data is we're only going to then get the uh, values where the, or the rows where the value of color is equal to red. And so then in essence you're dropping every row that's not red. Every row that doesn't match that condition from this point on to the right hand side of this filter in your data flow will not have those rows in it all. This is a row modifier. Now uh, at the beginning of this uh, expression I had parameter in there. It's very common to parameterize filter expressions because you don't typically hard code a filter in there. You may have reasons to do so and that's fine. But if you uh, need to, you can just parameterize that and swap that out with a parameter. So I'm using $myColor, which is a string parameter. If you go back to my data flow parameters, you'll see it's a string parameter. So what that means is from the pipeline, when I execute this, I can just type in or I can apply for maybe a lookup for another data source. I can apply a color that'll match only blues then when this runs. There. So that's how the filter transformation works.